How is everyone? It's Sam, Paper Bissels. I am about to show you a swap that I am participating in. I have four that I'm making. I have to pack up the last one, so I'm gonna pack that up with you. This is, it. This is a swap that we are doing that is being hosted by Patty, which is Mommy and Me Crafts on Instagram and YouTube. I will, of course, post all the links below. This is our Cookies for Kringle swap. We all are using Fancy Pants Designs, paper, which is Cookies for Kringle. Um, we were all to make um, a December daily insert, five die cuts, Christmas die cuts, and a Christmas themed memory decks card with a recipe. So let's get into it. Let's start with some of the die cuts that I did. Um, Reef is a die cut from Stampers, what is it? Stamp Market, sorry. And I will make sure to put links to everything that I can. Um, everything is, again, Stamp um, stamp Market. As far as the Reef, it comes with the little flowers. The bow it did not come with, that is an Anna Griffin die. Love the way it came out, love the colors. Snowflake. Now this is a Tim Holtz um, embossing envelope. It embosses and cuts. Beautiful. Love those. You already know. I'm a big fan. That's another Tim Holtz 3D embossing folder. That's an ornament. So pretty. These are Anna Griffin as well. And I just put them up on some foam just to give them a little bit of depth. I really like the way it makes them look super cute. This is another die from Stamp Market. This is really cute. I think it's called Tiny Tag or something like that. I really like the way it came out with the little trees floating around in there. Super cute. Um, this is a die that I got on Etsy. I was actually on the hunt for an older die from Tim Holtz, but it's no longer available, so I kind of had to figure something out. Um, I made a little tag. She wanted us to put our information on the back. That way, whenever she gets them, she can show, you know, our um, social media. So I, I put it on the back that way. That way she can share that. Uh, one more die cut. I did the Anna Griffin Christmas tree. Look how pretty, look at the details. It embosses so pretty. I like to recycle a lot. So this paper is actually from a shopping bag from, you know, some pajamas I bought. It's really cute. This is uh, Memory Decks. This die cut is from Scrap Diva Designs. It's so cute. The flowers are from My Three Boys. I will make sure I link her shop. She makes such pretty flowers. Um, this die in the back that I made or that I cut out is from, I think, In Love Art Shop. That's the back. I wanted to make some type of a little pocket to insert my little recipe card. So that's kind of how I attached it. This is a Pat Ganichi recipe. If you do not know her, you should. She is an amazing, amazing chef. She makes mostly um, Mexican food. This is a cake that I, it's actually been quite a while since I've made it, but it is a flourless chocolate pecan cake. So it's actually gluten-free. So it's a beautiful recipe. I really liked it. I kind of was on the fence on what to put in this, but it worked out. I think it'll be a challenge for some people, but for some people, I think it'll be nice to kind of step out of their box. It wasn't very hard to make. Um, I actually printed this on my selfie camera or my selfie printer, and I really like that printer. And then I used a Tim Holtz die to kind of cut the edges out to give it a nice finish and then pop it in there. So that came out really cute. The insert is another stamp market die. It's <laughs> so cute. Everything is stamp, it comes with this and it comes with the, um, the little bows, the little wreath, the doorknob, except for that metal piece. That is actually, if you can see it, a magnet. 
So each one of these opens. I wanted to make something where people could kind of be interactive, a little interesting, some depth to it, but also something where they could still use or document or insert something. So I thought it would be cute to maybe have this for people to put little photos. And again, all of these open, every single door, every single window, they all open. Even the one in the center opens up. Isn't that cute? And the, the tiny magnet is what got me. It, there's one behind each one so that it, it closes. It's not gonna like come open, it stays shut. There's also a little hiding space here. So you can do some either hidden journaling or continue to, you know, put photos, whatever you want to, whatever the person who receives this wants to do. There's a little tuck spot in there. I did put some bead dangles on each piece. I attached it with a little star paper clip. This opens. There is a magnet in here on the inside so that it will stay shut. You can kind of see it right here on both sides. It's kind of hard to tell, but it does, it will stay shut. Um, when you open it, I left it a little more on the plain side. I did um, attach some of the die cut pieces from the Fancy Pants Cookies for Kringle collection. I did use some lace. I did some stitching all around. I did a really cute tag that I embossed with, again, Tim Holtz 3D embossing folders. And I did some stitching around. I did some inking, as well as some acrylic paint. There's some vintage, um, some vintage yarn thread, whatever you wanna call that. On the back side, there is a little pocket. This one is, like that softer acetate, I don't know what you would call it. This is a vintage trim that I used. And then I left in ha a half inch on the side so that whoever gets this can punch it and then it will fit in their December daily. So let's pack this up, shall we? I feel like I should have sewed that on there, but whatever. Too late now, darling. Let me move these out of the way a little bit. So what I've done is I've um, taken a little photo insert from like the Dollar Tree and I sewed down the middle on each side and then I kind of did like a little T in the back. So what I wanted to do, then hole punched and then just, you know, added in some, some ribbon. But what I wanted to do was make a spot for all of the die cuts. So on this back one, we're going to put this baby. On the inside, I think, All right, I am gonna put these on the inside because on the back, the tag's gonna go, so you're not gonna be able to see these on the tag. So let's put these in there. The snowflake is a little more delicate, so that kind of makes me nervous putting it in here. The um, paper is a really nice, it feels like a handmade paper. It's like scrap from something. Don't ask me where I got it from. Um, but sometimes when you use that type of paper, whenever you die cut or emboss, it makes the paper even softer. So very delicate, bendable. So you gotta be kind of careful what you do with it until you see that until you actually use it where we're gonna use it. Ugh, Dios mío. All in the name of, but it's pretty paper. Ugh. I have to do everything the hard way. All right, and there she goes. I'm gonna put this in there too, why not? I'm putting the Christmas tree here. Oh, I forget the birdie. The beauty. Let's put our bird in here. 
I know he's not going to stay that way, but whatever. He's in there. Then I will paper clip this to the back. Book page insert will be here. I will put this on this ribbon and tie it on there. I kind of was at a loss for how to do the memory decks because I wanted everything in one package, you know, so that when Patty gets this, she can ship this off to whoever's going to receive it, trying to make it as easy as possible for her. I've never hosted a swap, so the little nuances of what makes things easier for a swap hostess is probably not in my brain because I've never had to do one, but I don't know, I'm trying to use some common sense and figure it out that way. <laughs> so I also sewed this. So this is just a little pocket. Again, one of the um, pocket inserts that has that um, thing on the side where you can put it in a binder from Dollar Tree. So I just am using that. It's really pouring outside, you guys. This is our Hurricane Nicole in Florida. We're about tired of hurricanes here. <laughs> we had a really quiet season though, up until the end here. And this is very late in the season to have a hurricane, but at least it wasn't too, too bad. It hasn't been terrible like the one that came through earlier or a couple weeks back. All right, so and memory decks, I'm just going to pop in the front here. as best I can and then I will fold this over twice this is what I did with the other ones hold on I need something to hold this for me I will clip it as close as I can to the middle of something <laughs> the middle of something <laughs> and then I am going to do some hole punching I'll have to cut the little pieces off because I did with the others, but at least it gets the hole in there, so whatever. Just cut these little pieces off. My hands are a mess. My nails are a mess. I'm about to get started on some junk journals which I have been really, really wanting to do for a while now. So I'm very excited to get started with that. And then I will make these edges cute. Hold on, I need to seal these edges. Hold on. I'm so much mess. Sorry. Seal these edges really quick. Sometimes I get a little overzealous and burn the edges a bit too much, but Whew, what can you do? I'm just trying to get it done. that off too soon. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> Ain't fail. Here, hold that for me. Thanks. So that is it. These little puppies are packed up, created, ready to go. And it was a make for, get for. So now I will send those off to Patty and then we'll be on our way. 
All right, thank you for watching everyone. If you have any questions about any of the paper or any of the, um, any of the anything that I used to create for this swap, message me below, leave a message. Appreciate it. And if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, maybe even go over to Instagram and subscribe to that channel as well. I would really appreciate it. I hope you all have a blessed day. Besos, bye.